control after the way things were going earlier? Uh, we didn't think that, but I think our second unit did an awesome job. Um, obviously, Baron and Novak, and I think uh, a lot, we've been talking a lot about our depth, and tonight we definitely got to see um, see the depth, and, and so that's going to be a strength of ours, and we need to continue to use that. Um, Jeremy, did you think it was important that you personally rebound from the Miami game and, and play the kind of strong game that you did tonight? Uh, come, I mean, coming off of Miami game, the only thing I'm focused on is to make sure that my approach is the same um, in terms of aggressiveness, but to do a better job of taking care of the ball. Just one turnover, what that mean for you? Um, I'm just happy it wasn't eight and like it was in Miami. And uh, <laughs> I don't know, just uh, definitely, I'm, I'm happy about one turnover. I think if I could keep it like three or less every game, that's my goal. Jeremy, um, according to statistic, um, you tend to do better in the second half. What's your personal take on that? Uh, well, if it's, if it's true, it's true. Um, I'm not going to argue with the numbers. Um, but, yeah, I don't know, I guess. Uh, maybe I'm more comfortable in the second half, or um, sometimes the break that I have in the second half is shorter. Um, sometimes I don't get a break in the second half, and so um, that might have something to do with it, too. Uh, and then, um, you know, in the fourth quarter, I try to make sure I'm really aggressive. I just spoke to Wat Misaka the other day, and he's your biggest fan. Do you have mm -hmm. anything to say to him? Uh, yeah, thank, uh, thank you uh, to him, obviously. Um, what he did, um, you know, paved the way for me. Um, and, uh, you know, thankful to him. He's, he's uh, supported me even last year, sent me a letter in the mail. And, uh, you know, so it means a lot that, you know, he's still following my career and, and still cares. I appreciate that. Jeremy, you talk about the depth, and, and Coach was talking about trying to get people in and out. Are you comfortable with 33 minutes? Are you comfortable with how things, and, and what is the adjustment? To yeah, that? I, I think uh, 33 minutes is, is good, but um, it just depends on the game. Um, you know, on a back-to-back, -back, I might, might be less than 33. Um, I don't know. Uh, it just depends on how the game is, too. Like, um, if I'm feeling great, you know, some days it may be 40, 40 plus if we don't have a game the next day. And then if, you know, if Barron's clicking and the second unit is going like they were today, you know, maybe it's 25, 30. Um, so, you know, it doesn't matter too much to me. Obviously, I'd love to play, but I understand that our team is so deep. And so uh, we need to utilize that and let that second unit go to work uh, like they did tonight. Jeremy, ad agencies say the success of Lynn merchandise has corporations considering marketing to Asian Americans as consumers. How do you feel knowing that you've had that much impact? Um, <laughs> just thankful, uh, really thankful because um, I didn't really envision the way this, everything to turn out the way it did. Um, but, you know, I think one thing is I'm very thankful to the Asian American fan base. And, uh, you know, I, I really do mean that. And, um, you know, it means, it means the world to me to know, you know, I grew up as an Asian American. and. And so, uh, you know, I'm just thankful that they're there for me and they're behind me. And they were, they were there f from, from the start, you know, even when I was struggling in the D League or, or whatever it might be, you know, they were always there giving me encouragement through social media. And every time, you know, um, I would run into, you know, Asian American fans, they're always just uh, so nice. So thank you. Uh, Jeremy. Yep. Hi. Uh, how close were you last November to sign with Teramo in Italy? And... Uh, if you ever been to Italy yet? Uh, I was close. I was extremely close. I actually uh, was gonna, I booked a flight to, f to go back to California so I could get my visa done and everything so I could go to Italy. Um, but then um, I think the team signed, signed Charles Jenkins, and then uh, they, re they took the deal, they rescinded the deal, f and, uh, and then I found out that they offered it to him, I think it was him, and then uh, so then I was like, okay, no more Italy, and then the lockout ended like a couple of days later, so it was perfect. All right, thank you, Sheriff. Thank you.